Happy Saturday, beautiful souls. This is Shamama Hunting Owl with a new message for the new moon in, um, in Leo tomorrow morning, um, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, I want to start by always thanking um, and welcoming first all the new subscribers to our tribe. Um, thank you. Welcome. We're so happy to have you here. Um, I want to thank you for for our loyal tribe members for following, watching, supporting each other, commenting, reaching out. Um, you guys are amazing. You guys are truly amazing. So, you guys, we have some very interesting energies ha, 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 coming in and going through with, you know, the intensity is not going to stop. Let's just put it that way. So, um, so I'm going to start with the energy report from Joanne. Um, Joanne has been writing reports for the last couple of videos about the astrological events and the energy reports and how the planets are playing into this energy um, and where that's moving the twins and it kind of plays into the reading. So, um, so sit back and relax and let's do this, okay guys? Okay, so during the new moon on July 23rd, the sun, moon, and Mars are all conjunct at zero degrees Leo. This is the first of two back-to-back -back new moons, both in the sign of Leo. The second one is August 21st during the solar eclipse. So in a powerful way, this moon is the prequel to what is approaching and what's going to continue to happen through the solar eclipse next month. Um, which is going to be beyond any of the previous eclipse seasons that we have had. Um, the Sun, Moon, and Mars are all squaring Uranus in Aries right now, while Venus is opposing Saturn and forming a square to Chiron. Adding to this intensity of the current astrology is Lilith. We gotta love Lilith and her moon, um, and that and Saturn also. Um, these are almost conjunct during this new moon and they will be exactly conjunct during the day of the solar eclipse next month. So all that surfaces for healing and release right now will continue to dramatically magnify now through August, through that next solar moon next at the end of the month. Relationships that are not based on truth and freedom are completely collapsing. Anything that is not aligned with our hearts is being released. It needs to be released. This is the time. It's coming up. During this new moon, karmic masks are dramatically falling away. Um, and we have we have to leave behind these old disempowering roles that we step into so we can step into greater freedom. The freedom to finally make choices based on our heart, because this new moon is very much about healing our hearts. Um, our hearts have been broken over and over again during our reincarnation cycles based on previous unconscious wounds. But as humanity continues to awaken, these wounds are brought into our conscious awareness and the divine masculine and the divine feminine are remembering who they are. This is a painful process because both divine counterparts during their slumber period or their amnesia have forgotten who they were. And they are now beginning to identify and, and began to identify with the karmic roles that we took on. But these roles never represented our truth of who we are. They were just painful illusions that kept us stuck, kept humanity stuck in these cycles of separation, disconnection, and self-abandonment. The truth and purpose of karmic relationships is very clear now. They have always been a painful substitution and distraction from true love. The karmic wheel is not a natural process. It is a recycling program that was taken that has taken advantage of a sleeping population. But we are no longer asleep. We are awake to the truth of our realities and any area of our of our manifested reality not aligned with our truth is collapsing. This includes karmic relationships and patterns. There is no denying or avoiding this now. And we are all being guided by the archetype of Leo. Ruled by our sun, we, have, we all have Leo somewhere in our charts. This new moon and the upcoming eclipse season is about, to, is about following our hearts with courage and determination. 
It's about breaking free from false collective belief structures and illusion of the 3D reality. It's about truly remembering who we are and why we came here. And that's so important, you guys. So it, we are remembering who we are and why we are here. But this requires us to heal our inner child and face these emotional wounds with courage. As we do, we break free. And we step into our natural and original co-creative power. With Mars, Venus, Saturn, and Lilith all directly involved during these transits, it is very clear, clear that false structures are collapsing. And the illusion of this holographic reality continues to break down, revealing layer after layer the distortions and sabotage of the 3D world. Saturn involved in this holographic reality and Lilith representing some of the painful masks we have worn, which have kept us trapped in the reincarnation cycle. But as we face the truth, we experience powerful healing, while simultaneously reclaiming aspects of ourselves and our divine unions. If if we are actively participating with our emotional healing and ascension process, we are being powerfully guided by the sun in Leo. The sun in our star, the sun is our star, guiding us toward truth with the courage to follow our hearts, leading us home to ourselves, our divine counterparts, and pure unconditional love. Okay, so what does this mean? What does all of this mean? It means things are gonna continue to be intense. It's going to, we are going to continue to feel squeezed, pushed, pressured to move forward, to heal these things. These things are coming up in us for a reason right now. They've got to be let go. It is time. The call can't be denied any longer. Um, so this is where we're at. Now, part of what's happening with these moons and these eclipse cycles is as we are coming to a place of things bubbling up to the surface, um, tensions getting higher, um, people feeling this great push to move, anxiety, tension, depression that's coming up for people, we, we get into a place where we're dealing with the intensity becomes too much. This week, so many of the twins have been in such an emotional place. So what I am doing, what I was guided <laughs> to share for you all is it is time to hang up just for a brief period to take a day off, to hang up the superhero cape, to put the twin flame persona kind of like on the shelf, take a couple of days to kind of not check out on your journey, but to just be. There's power in powering down, okay? And kind of what they've shown me is we need to power down. We're at a time where we really need to stay grounded and stable and not run around like chickens with our heads cut off. Um, so, so what I'm asking the twins to do is really this weekend, take some time with the energy of this moon to really power down. Take the superhero costume off. Forget about being a twin for a couple of days and just be, just be. Don't worry about all of it. Just let it flow through you. Let the feelings, let the things that are coming up come through you and release them. Um, part of what's going on also is that because these karmic relationships and patterns that we have been carrying um, come with consequences to the actions what we are going to see is a lot of um, um, these karmic relationships are going to get to a place where all the secrets are out. The truth is coming out. The truth is being told. Um, 
you know, the Lilith moon is about not being kept quiet. It's about not not being held down. It's about not conforming. It's about being who you are and being seen and being recognized. So so it's this beautiful bubbling energy of the truths coming out and things being revealed and secrets being let go. And 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 this is what we're coming into. So those of you who are living in your heart center, who have been living in this place of unconditional love and truth and integrity and authenticity are going to ride this cycle out beautifully, beautifully. You are going to not feel the heaviness and the volatility of this energy. Those of us who have not been completely living in our integrity or not completely authentic or still hiding parts of themselves or secrets or things, that shit's going to come out. You're not going to be hold it, able to hold it back. The universe is pushing you. It has to be spoken. And if it doesn't get spoken, it's going to come out one way or the other. Um, so that's the energy that we are under. Staying grounded, resting, going within, solitude, quiet, but still having people when you need them. So this is not a complete disconnect from everybody and everything. It's, it's more of just a stepping back into a smaller group of, of safety and security for you right now to just stay balanced because that's what we really need to do. So the cards this week, you guys, that play into this reading. I ended up using a deck I haven't used in ages. It's called the Rock and Roll to Rock and Roll Tarot. It's super funky and super cool. Um, and it's by uh, Vicki Verley. So um, I really like this deck. And I actually pulled one message, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, across the board. And this is what basically we are dealing with. And it kind of tells a beautiful little story. So the first card we have is probably makes sense, right guys? It's the tower. Here we go again, okay? Tower energy, tower energy. Shit's blowing up. Destruction, upheaval. I mean, the masculine and the feminine alike. This is what we're talking about in this energy report. Things are breaking down. The karmics. I mean, literally, these like these people are like flying out of the fucking building. They need to escape. They are escaping this karmic crap that we are dealing with. Um, and shit's going to get real. Shit's going to get real. So as these towers are breaking down, the collective is feeling this Nine of Sword energy. Okay. And again, we still are feeling this nine of sword energy. There is anxiety, sorrow, depression, fear, all of those things creeping into our awareness, you know, into our nighttime dreams, into, you know, it's freaking us the fuck out because we really don't know what's going to happen out of all of this in the, in the short term. In the long term, we know what's going to happen because we're twins and we know what this journey is about. However, the short term is bringing up all of these mental thoughts and chatter and anxiety and distress, and we need to get this in check, okay? So what we're trying to do is two of pentacles. Let's balance this energy. Let's balance this energy into the 3D. Pentacles are about the physical world. Um, you know, generally pentacles are about finance. I feel like this is truly about grounding and balancing this crazy fucking energy that is coming in. You know, um, making our, you know, this first word on the card says prioritize. There's, there's this, there's this, there's this anxiety, this, this tower, this need and understanding to keep it balanced right now. Um, and that's the best, that's what, that's all we have to do is stay balanced. Balance is priority. Um, because what is happening is 
as these towers and everything starts to fall away, and as we continue to stay balanced, we come into a place of Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is wishes fulfilled. This is the completion. This is having everything you want. Everything that your heart wants, could ever want or need, okay? This is all the wishes. In the real world, this is finances, prosperity, and across the board, prosperity and health, love, work, everything, family. Like, this is what's coming for us. And with that comes our Knight of Cups, our, our, our Knight of Cups. We move ahead with our Cup of Love, very carefully, very cautiously to bring it to our divine partnership. And we bring this love that we move ahead with and to the entire collective, because this is not just about the romance. It is partially about the romance and the love, yes. However, this is about the love for ourselves, the divine, the greater good of humanity, as well as our twin partners. So everything that is happening right now is moving us to this, to this Knight of Cups energy, toward this grand love stepping forward, okay? Now, what was really interesting in this reading is at the bottom of the underlying energy is the Page of Pentacles. Or, I mean, the Page of Wands. What the hell am I saying? The Page of Wands. And this Page of Wands kind of caught me off guard because I'm like, okay, well, there's all this tension. There's all this anguish. We're barely trying to stay balanced. What is this about? And, and, and basically, they showed me that that although the energy is heavy and intense, there is this beautiful, passionate, new beginning of excitement that is coming in with this. This is what this shows me. This is the enthusiasm that is underlying the changes that are gonna come from this tower energy. So even though there is anguish and fear, there is also this true understanding by both the divine masculine and the divine feminine that in the end all of this tower all of this upheaval all of this stress is for a higher greater good for a true true purpose of excitement and 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 that's beautiful because that's where we want to be we understand that everything that is happening for us right now is in our highest, greatest good. And this is like that, yeah, I know it's tough, but I have passion and desire and enthusiasm and I am going to push through this. So that is a beautiful energy that comes to us as, as helping guide us through this journey. Um, so in closing, you guys, I guess... The most important thing is we really need to stay grounded, stay balanced, keep in our faith, continue to heal and let go, um, and, and just believe. So I don't know. I don't know. That's it. That's it. We've got to continue to just believe. Believe in ourselves. Believe in who we are. Um, yeah, believe in who we are, because we know who we are. We're twins. We are twins, and we are divine fucking beings, and we are here to kick some ass on this planet and make it a beautiful, beautiful world again. So with that, you guys, I am out of here for the weekend. Um, I will be back, I think, on two. Well, I think I'm going to take Monday off, too. So, you guys, I'll be back to do sessions with you guys on Tuesday. So, those of you who want sessions, we'll be starting again on Tuesday for that. And, um, and have a beautiful, blessed moon. And enjoy the weekend. And really just work on recharging, you guys. Recharge those batteries. Um, I am sending so much love and light. Gratitude and blessings. Always beautiful souls. Um, 
If you want readings, www.shamamahuntingowl.com. For those of you who would like um, astrological reports by Joanne, it's www.thesacredpath.co. Um, and, and that's it, guys. So I love you so much. Thank you all again. Mwah! Have a great week. Bye, guys.